Hey guys, what's up? Um, so, let me correct my camera here. Uh, basically, we have semi bad news. I am, this is the computer. Uh, you guys can see how big the box is. It weighed in at about 58 pounds, uh, is what it said on the form, so about 58 pounds. Um, but this is a new computer. Uh, however, it, uh, it did arrive in the rain. Um, and the UPS guy who delivered it uh, let the bottom of the box soak all the way through. So we're going to open it and hope for the best. If so, cool. New unboxing video. Uh, if not, you'll get to hear me pretty angry. Uh, I've waited two and a half months for this machine to be built and shipped to me. And if it doesn't work, uh, I'm going to be pretty pissed. So let's go ahead and see what we got here. Uh, the bottom of the box is soaked out. We had to carry it so the bottom wouldn't fall out. You can see the tape isn't even sealed. What I'm hoping CyberPower did is did like a box within a box thing because the tape isn't even, it, see it isn't even holding the top. So, let's pray. Okay. Yep. It's soaked through the bottom and it's not a box within a box, so fantastic. Um, so we got the order form here with my ridiculously expensive total. Uh, and it looks like they went ahead and did like a foam pad there. What is that? Um, all right, it is a box within a box, so that's good. Uh, here is, I'm going to try my, my USB cord isn't as long as I'd like it to be, but I'm going to try to give you guys a little. So there's the box. Um, they just put it in the Thermal Lake box, I guess. Uh, with internal, I have internal USB extensions and all that, which is why that's there. On the other side, um, we have my motherboard box, which is really smashed. Uh, that's some pretty, pretty poor. Wow. Um, Assassin's Creed coupon uh, with all the mounting stuff. So that's just all the mounting stuff that was included in the kit. Um, pretty smashed. I'm honestly disappointed by that. It's probably because of the water damage, though, because uh, the box isn't even like a solid box. Um, so here's my motherboard. It is the X98 UP. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put the camera down so I can get this thing out of the case. I do want to get it out of the case as soon as possible here. Um, we have another sheet of paper here, which is warranty. Uh, on the other side, we got a multimedia desktop keyboard, which I didn't even order. So, there's that. E, that's got box damage as well, and looks like water damage because the box is wet. Uh, but the keyboard looks intact. It's nothing fancy, just kind of standard. Uh, so, there's that keyboard uh, now the part we care about um, I can't flip the box over so I'm gonna have to wow that's heavy I'm weak but I'm not that weak okay there's the box Okay. Box is wet, which is not good. Um, and that's it. You can see, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but you can see where the box, uh, like right here, just got soaked straight through. I mean, it's literally just, it's watered paper. Um, I'm going to check. Alright, I gotta get this thing out of here. This box got soaked through as well. I just gotta get the computer out so water doesn't damage it. People really don't, like, consider... Mother of God, this thing's ridiculous. Okay, uh, really quick. There it is, guys. Uh... Like I said, it is not a tiny computer. It is ridiculously huge. Um, <laughs> that's my current one. 
this is my new one. It's about a couple times as wide. Uh, we're going to try to get it out here. Let me go ahead and change camera angles. I just want to get it out so there's no water damage to the thing. Okay. Because the bottom of the box is watered out, which is not good. At all. Wow. It's like stuck in there. Stuck. There we go. Hopefully the plastic wraps the entire thing. Then I don't have to worry about. Oh crap. See if the box is rotted out. Yeah, bottom of the box there was rotted out too. Let's see. This is what sometimes concerns me, you know, with shipping and everything. It always, I keep forgetting my mic's right behind me. It always just ticks me off. But it looks like it's fully wrapped in plastic, which is good news. Um, let's see if I can. Okay. The plastic's fully wrapped around it. This is really good news. There is no water damage, it looks like. So far, no water damage. Let's see if I can get it out of this thing. Okay. All right, guys. Um, no water damage, I think. I'm checking the bottom here. Let's see. Okay. All right. Looks like we're good. Uh, I'll have to boot it up, but I'll go ahead and give you guys a little look-see here. So, there it is. Uh, front panel is, I don't know if you guys can see that, but if you look up the front panel, it's broken? Or maybe that's, oh, it's a snap out. Okay, I was gonna say, that would tick me off. Because the box was pretty bad. Okay, so those are just snap outs for extensions. Uh, we got the card reader here, disk drive. It's just uh, DVD. I didn't do Blu ray. Blu ray is too fancy for me. Um, oh, just got my jacket thing stuck in there. Uh, then you got the hard drive and stuff up front. Um, total cool. Up here, you have uh, the power button along with four other USBs. It also has two internal USB extensions in the back. So I'm going to have about 12, I think it's 12 or 14 USB slots. Um, power button is there. I'm not really sure what that is, but it's there. Uh, you have the LED, the fans, uh, reset button, and then headphone jack right there. And around the back here, this is really hard for my camera, so bear with me, guys. Let me try to get a better angle here without breaking it. All right, so on the back here... Uh, I don't know if you guys can see it, but you got the cooling ports right there. Um, you have the SATAs. I have two SATA 
cables in here. So I have two SATAs, uh, four, eight, 10, 12, 14 USBs, and then all my uh, expansion slots. There's the card, uh, space for two DVIs and a HDMI. So I'll be able to do that. Uh, and the power's right there, on off switch. On the flip side, um, and I'll honestly, you guys may not be able to see this. Let me go ahead and spin it around for you. On the flip side, you'll see that we got uh, the internal glass panel. So you can see inside the thing. Uh, it'll look pretty when it's going, um, but that's that. And this case also has a headphone holder, like a little headphone holster thing. So you have that as well. Um, that's basically it though for the unboxing. Um, I'm gonna make sure it works. That's my big thing right now. I'm gonna boot it up, make sure everything works. I will not be filming that because I have to literally transfer everything off of this machine onto this machine and make sure it all clicks. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that, guys. Uh, but I hope you enjoy the unboxing. I'm excited to see what we can do with this thing. It's a pretty big upgrade for me, as you can see. Uh, and we'll hopefully get it running tonight so we can do some streaming testing on it and all that jazz. Anyway, enjoy the video, and I will talk to you guys next time. See you, everybody.